Gates. He jumps <laughs> over top of him, and he's got a touchdown. Did not see that coming. He gets 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 on his feet still, and he's gone for a 90-yard carry. Put that on your highlight reel from 45 yards out. There's the turnover. And a great ball. It's complete for a touchdown. Welcome to City Series Football on APSIS. From beautiful, a beautiful field at Bookdale High School, the Bookdale Griffins welcome in the Ellet Orangemen on this sometimes sunny, sometimes dark Saturday afternoon. My name is Peter George, and I'm here with my friend Ryan Rittenhouse. Ryan, you ready for some Saturday football? I'm looking forward to a good game, Peter. Bookdale's kicking off. This field is beautiful. It's a brand new field that the... Uh, Cleveland Browns put in for us uh, through a partnership and the Stay in the Game program. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is the best that Bookdale football has ever looked. And the kickoff. And that's a good return. All the way out to the 36-yard line. That was number eight for Ellett. Isaiah Brown. Yeah, good return to start the game. What do you think of the field, Peter? Oh, is that beautiful? I mean, my goodness. I mean, the number of years that they've played here, this was basically just a, a very barren, very muddy field. Oh, beautiful. I mean, this is this is the way to start the season, start the City Series season. All these dudes just have a really, uh, just have a bright sports future here. I'm so grateful for what Hand the Browns did for them. That was 23, I think. Uh, to the 44-yard line. 20, 23. Mm -hmm. Terrence Thomas Jr. Second and three. Quarterback is Jake Flossie. Second and three now. And the shotgun. Hand off. And this is to Terrence. Terrence goes down again, but manages to get some positive yardage on it. 30 yard. Now keeping it on the ground early on. Third and one. Early in this first quarter. Jake Flossie, a junior. Here we go, third down and one. Looks See. like a running play. Nope, fake me out. There he goes. Oh, looks like he's going to be passing number nine, uh, which is Brandon Knowles. Oh! Incomplete. Went for the wild play. Throwing to number eight, Isaiah Brown. You had it right, Ryan. That's the play he should have done. It looked like he was going to be passing to him. I, I, I don't understand what happened there. If that was a, I mean, the other man was out there, so I guess it was a planned, uh, a planned thing. But boy, it certainly didn't look like that. Sometimes that's true. Sometimes they have it in their heads that that's the play they want, and they don't see what's in front of them. And he would have picked up the first down easily. So they're gambling. Fourth and one. They're either going to go for it or they're going to try to draw him off sides. This is very, very, very big gamble here to start the game. Huh. If they do it. And they did it. And he is not going to get it. Uh. Turnover on downs. What do you think, Ryan? Would you have punted? <laughs> I think I would have punted. <laughs> I think I would have punted, yeah. 23 taken down. Terrence Thompson Jr. again. Good play. Good play by that very good defense. Yeah, that's a big gamble to start the game. And see if it see if it comes back to bite him. Here we are sitting at first and ten now. A lot of game to go. It is. A lot of freshmen on that. Ellet team this year. Yes, very young, which yeah, very, very young inexperienced. 
But there's a very good play. Number 35, Ryan. Who was that for Ellett? Cameron Hinkle. Fantastic play. I'll say I completely agree. Good takedown. Quarterback Stevie Diamond for Ellett. Or for Garfield, I mean. Just a sophomore. Buckle. But what did I say? Garfield. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> that game's coming off in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's, uh, that is actually happening at the same time today. Firestone Garfield I'll get there, folks. is uh, happening today. So we're actually having our other cameraman record that one. So we'll be able to I'm check that out later. I was thinking about them. <laughs> Bit of number 25. Oh, oh this is get it. him. Nice throw oh, on the run. And that was number 15. Who was that, Ryan? For Buchtel, Armin Gable. Nice catch. Nice throw. He is a sophomore. 5'7". I don't know why that matters. <laughs> First on technical, technical 32. Little details you'll get to the five game. 5'7 seven <laughs> for a wide receiver. That's that's shorter than you, and it's shorter than me. That's a that's a little guy that you have trouble uh, defending. First down, Buchtel, 32-yard line. Ooh. This is a running quarterback. Okay. And a little bit hit out of bounds. No penalty. Stevie Diamond taken out at the, what was the yard on that? 32-yard uh, line. He gained, are they going to give him one? They're not going to give him anything. Matter of fact, he, lost, no, nope, they're not going to give him anything. Second 10. Okay. Number 11, Stevie Diamond taken down. No positive yardage gained. Yeah, this is a running quarterback. You can tell that, uh, he may hand off or he may just run. And those are very dangerous. A lot of uncertainty in a game like y that. For yes. Sure. Oh, Touchdown. beautiful. Oh, beautiful for number so three, number Ryan. Three, Marcel Boyce Jr. Oh, that was a beautiful play. Well done, Buchtel. There's really nothing Ella could do to defend against that. That was just beautiful. I wonder if Ella is rethinking their uh, going for it on fourth down. Yet half a field. It's tough to defend. So Buckle takes the lead, and it looks like they are going for two. They are going for two. Well, if this is any sort of part of things to come, uh, we might be in for a very good game today. And Buckle's going to have to take a timeout. And they are going to have to take a timeout, usually when they go for two. Like, oh, well, let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> These two teams looking at uh, to start the City Series play, looking for different things this season. Buckle, of course, obviously eyes on a uh, chance to get into the state playoffs. And uh, for Ellen, if they could beat Buckle, there would be some way to start start the season for him. Book always plays a brutal out of conference schedule. Well this is a speaking of the field again, this is the very first game on this beautiful new field. And uh it'd be a real shame if Bookdale were to lose it. <laughs> yeah, so uh no bias here, but I in, in some small way I guess I, I'm kind of rooting for them, hoping that they're able to pull it off. And it's nice uh, that we're an here. Game. It's nice that we're here on this Saturday afternoon to see the first game on the field. Wish it was a little bit warmer, but yeah, I, I certainly oh. uh, glad to be here. I know I do. Look at the end of the and he and got, the, got two. the two. All right. Is that same number three again, right? Yes, Marcel Boyce again. So Marcel Boyce, he gets the touchdown and he gets the two-point conversion, and Booker goes up eight to nothing. Russell Boyce Jr. is a senior, so really, uh, ah. really doing his very best here in his last year at uh, Bucktel CLC. Wishing him the best as he goes on to whatever it is he pursues after high school. Here we are in the uh, early in the first quarter. Bucktel eight, L at zero. On this somewhat. Uh, chilly Saturday afternoon. Yeah, late September. Maybe this will get a little sunshine here. Uh, it's chilly. No, it certainly makes it easier to see. I mean, that sun comes out. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's just a little blinding. But, yes, it uh, is. Uh, certainly wouldn't matter for the temperature, though. So 
See if Ellett can get themselves together. They look like they're, I th I, did they throw a pass? I'm not sure if they did or not, but they look very run oriented. Yeah, they did throw one, but they, uh, they look very run oriented. Bochtel getting ready to kick. And they're going to stop play, and we're going to get a penalty, probably offsides. Offsides on the kickoff. Ryan, that is, that is something that just can't happen. That is something you just can't happen. All you have to do is look down the line of scrimmage and, make, and wait till the ball's kicked. Yeah, jumping offsides is not going to make the coach very happy. So now we're back five yards. Now we're kicking from the 35, which means Ellett should get very good field position. And I bet you they're not going to be offsides this time. Well, let's see if Ellett can make it work for their uh, benefit here. Yes. They had a good return to the opening kickoff. Thirty. Number eight with the catch. Down to the 32-yard line. Isaiah Brown down at 32. It's a 32. Decent field position. Very good kick. All right, let's see what Ellett does. See if they stay with the run. My guess is they're probably going to try to open it up. But we shall see. First and ten. See what Mr. Flossie has in mind for the team. Staying with the run. Not much there. Maybe a couple of yards. Who was that who got taken that? It was oh, 23 again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Terrence. Terrence puts the ball down to the 25, 35 he wishes. Got to move it back. Second down. Oh, oh, Brian, I think uh, a little sunshine coming in. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, and and <laughs> <laughs> that looks it's not, yeah, it's gone. It's going to be one of those. <laughs> going to be one of those days. Going, going gone. <laughs> All right, they picked up two yards. Second and eight. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be one of those. Sun in, sun out. Second down. Lots of time. Lots of time. Oh, Lift the pass, but decides to keep it. Sees number seven, and it is incomplete. Ah. Oh. Timothy Peake tried to make it happen. Just couldn't seem to, to get it, uh, s seal the deal. Quarterback's got to get that ball just up just a little bit, just a little bit. It looked like uh, he had the guy wide open and might maybe aim the ball a little bit too much, but third and eight. Pretty much, I would guess, an obvious passing down. Rushed and flossy. Oh, uh, nobody uh, open. Nobody open. He had a little bit of time. That was, that was obviously a coverage sack. Just nobody to throw the ball to. Yep. You could see him looking. Just could not find any openings. Fourth down. Now it will punt. Like you said, it means you should commend the Bookville team for uh, good coverage. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they knew what Ellett was going to do, and they closed all the holes, closed all the gaps. Ah, the sun's out, Ryan. Enjoy it for <laughs> three seconds. All right. I, I will when I can see again. <laughs> <laughs> Ellett punting. Takes it about the 43, and Caught good. by number six, Trevante Fletcher. Good coverage. Number nine for Ellett, Ryan. Who is that? Number nine for Ellett is Braden Knowles again. So a good coverage. Caught the ball at the 43 and got nothing. Oop. So here we go. Let's see what Bookdale does. Oh, 
I know they've had it for a few years, but it still seems very odd to me to see booked in red. Yes. For the longest time, it was always uh, black, white, and silver. Right. And that red now, just I, I feel like I'm looking at uh, the old Kenmore Cardinals. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, first down, 44-yard line. Some in and out, in and out. Hand off. Oh, to 21. Wiley chairs again. Oh, taken down by Ella at number seven, Timothy Peak. Oh. Penalty. Holding. Oh, you know, it looked like there may have been something there. Was it where we, is it where, uh, The penalty is from the hold. They marked the penalty back from where, where the guy held. So it's first and 16. That's why you see a little funky number up there. It was real quick. Yes. But I think I think we both saw it. It mm -hmm. was uh, uh, number 10 uh, on Booktel's side uh, held on to uh, number 5 on Ellett. Trying, uh, trying to get that tackle, and the guy's holding him. Looks like they're running a very similar play here. 21 again, Wiley chairs. Ooh, and oh! Wiley's going to get the first down. Yeah, nine could just, Elijah Williams just could not seem to catch him. Number seven, uh, I'm sorry. Brandon Knowles couldn't seem to catch him. And Timothy Peake tried to help out there, but just could not stop him before he got. Uh, second and three. Second and three. Picked up 13. Oh, my Oof. goodness. Fantastic. I think I need a ski cap, Peter. Come on now, that sun will be back out. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> I think I'd keep giving. I think feed Wiley. Feed Wiley. <laughs> He's running very well. Nope. Twenty-five. Nice throw. Uh, Not uh, quite nope. a first down. Very close though. Number seven for Booktel, Dakota Taylor, taken down by thirty-five from Ellett. Mr. Cameron Hinkle again. Not quite. Well, the referees, uh, the, the referees are not on the same page. Okay. So third and one from they 48. They saw something I didn't, I guess. Yeah, yeah, one was standing on one yard line. So third and that looks like a very long one. And obviously, I know how Elder Moore looks like more third and two. I know who I'd give it to, but we'll see what Buckdale does. Nope. Incomplete. I don't know why. Fake to an incomplete. Yeah. I think I would have run that time, but. Was he trying to pass it to uh, Marcel? Yes. Yeah. Hard to tell because yes, it, yes it was. It was not. Uh, <laughs> yes, it was. It wasn't the best play. <laughs> it wasn't. I don't know who did that, but it wasn't the best. <laughs> Third and a very long one. More like two. Buckle going for it, much like Ella did. Nice throw. Oh, nice throw. Passed again to Marcel Boyce Jr., taken down at the 37-yard line. Thank you, Peter. Sun shines out for two minutes. Yeah, Ella having trouble defending the pass, having trouble defending the run. The moment, defense a little bit on their heels. Still in the first quarter, though. A little bit of sunshine, and of course, now it's gone again. Looking downfield, and oh! Well oh. done, Allen. 18. Good. Lee Anthony Hopkins kept the ball out of the booktel hands there. Good coverage. Very good coverage by, by him. Dakota Taylor, number seven for Booktel, uh, was uh, kept away from the ball just long enough. So again, well done, Ellett. Here we are, second and ten. Booktel going again. Might be time to give it a little 21. A little 21, maybe. I don't know if they call him. I, I, with a name like Wiley Chairs, I mean, you should definitely call and him. And they did, and 
I'm gonna Look start, at him go! I'm going to start calling the coyote. Look at him go! <laughs> you might as well. I mean, wow. Really shifty. First down. I definitely promised for the uh, College of Careers Education uh, player of the game already. I'd I know. Say. Oh, God, Ella, to jump offside. You can see everybody going, oh. <laughs> Sometimes all the quarterback does is just a little bit of different tenor to that voice, and everybody jumps. That's exactly what happened. That's an easy first down, Ryan. You don't have yes, to do anything. Is. Yes, it is. You have to have everybody jump. If I'm booked, though, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. First down, 25 yard it. line. Yeah. Get him so anxious, and we have somebody who should be on the field that isn't, I'm guessing. And what are we doing? Ah, number 18. I'm not sure you want to mention his name, Ryan. Maybe you shouldn't. I <laughs> think we'll leave you real soon. Oh, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Xavier. We're playing a football game. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe the same as his son, Ryan. Got in his eyes. I don't know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Hey. Oh, Frank oh, Wiley. Oh, oh. oh. oh, 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 oh. Definitely piqued my interest there. Unfortunately, could not complete. You know, you fake it to Wiley, and you get all those Ellett's eyes right there. That's a good fake. Yes, it was. You have a good runner. Everybody's eyes are on him, and that gives you, it opens up the passing. Second 10. Obviously, Ellett wanting to keep things to a field goal, if at all possible. <laughs> The end zone and short. It's a hard pass. It's a hard pass the far corner of the end zone. Third and ten. Sun peeking out a little bit. Not bringing with it any warmth, though. No, not yet. Just blinding. <laughs> Third and ten, big time for L at defense. Got to stop him here. Can't let him pick this up. No uh, doubt, Book will probably go for it on fourth down, but this is a, this is a big stop. Yeah, Ella definitely has something, has something to accomplish here. Ooh, Over the middle, oh, nice, nice catch. Pass, nice catch, number three for Bookdel. First and goal. Marcel Bush Jr. again. Ella couldn't stop that, and uh, Bookdel is now in prime position. He seems to be the man for them. I've heard you mention his number a couple of times. Yep. Uh, 21 and 3 are definitely the highlights for Bookdale this, uh, this game so far. Vying for APS player of the game. <laughs> Wiley, Wiley and uh, Marcel. Coyote. <laughs> I th again, I think that's the perfect right. nickname it, for it, it, If they don't call him that already. I'm sure they have to, <laughs> yeah. First down. And oh, guess who they and gave it to? <laughs> and to the game. Game. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trying to break yeah. away. Brought down by 54 from Ellett. That is Fabian Mathis, or Mathis. Second goal. I would not be afraid to give it to him again. I'd give it to him again, and then yeah, I'd I, give it to him again. <laughs> he's I just, agree. He's I, so tough to bring down. Absolutely. That, like you said, that small stature makes him very... What did you say, 5'7"? That makes it tough. 5'8". Five, eight. Five, okay, he, five, gave eight. Him, he, gave, he gave him a, a, <laughs> an extra inch that he probably doesn't have. Oh, 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 solid <laughs> pass. Um, I was looking at uh, 21 there, and, and all the while, Mr. Xavier Wilson redeems himself. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> he says, you know what? I can catch that ball. That was a nice throw. He's in ball. for a touchdown. Nice throw. Nice throw. Nice catch, Xavier. You, you did yourself proud there. Yeah. You said, I'm making up for it. And once again, Bukdo going for two. Here we are about 25 minutes into this game. Bukdo sitting at 14 and L at zero. L has a long way to climb here. Obviously, we have a lot of game to go, but uh, certainly a bad position for L here very early in the game. 
Corner. Oh, must have been knocked down. Yep, knocked down. Do we see who knocked that down? And that was number nine. Who was number nine, Ryan? That was number a nine good play. is Brandon Knowles. That was a good play. They are some very good players on the on the Ellen side, even for such a young team. It's just uh, unfortunately they, they you've missed some opportunities, and and I think admittedly made a few bad calls already. Uh, but hopefully here, as we turn things around, uh, they'll uh, as things get turned around, hopefully they'll be able to turn things around too. Yeah, they, they were very good quarter. Those are two very good throws we saw on that drive. And then the Wiley, Wiley Coyote did the rest. <laughs> and uh, Xavier Wilson definitely pulled out a beautiful play for yes. Russell there with the touchdown. All right, 14 to nothing. Book the Ellett. I'm guessing, well, I was gonna say, I'm guessing you're going to be running a little bit less, but uh, I don't know. Running seems to be your thing, so they'll probably stick with it, at least for the time being. Well, I'm excited to see what Ellen brings to the table this time. Hopefully, again, they can uh, turn things around for themselves. Again, it, you know, 14 nothing is not a, a giant lead, but it's significant. And uh, hopefully they, they, have, uh, they can definitely start evening the scales. You got to see them move the ball. You got to see them move the ball. -y. Seems like it's been a couple of three and outs. Booked will getting set up for the kick. All right, they've had a couple of good returns. Ellett has. Let's see if they can get, let's see if they can get another one. They were helped by a penalty, but uh, couldn't move the ball in the last series. Twenty, twenty-five. Eight. Isaiah Brown. Oh, taken nice down hit. hard by one. The uh Jermaine James. Very hard hit. Ellett starting at the thirty-two yard line again. I think they started the thirty-two yard line in the last series. All right, let's see if Ellett can pick it up here. I think they've been run-run the last two starts. Let's see what Flossie has in mind for the boys. Yeah, Flossie has a, a lot of weight on his shoulders for this game, and he is a, a junior at Ellett. And off again, staying with that run, and it's tough sledding. They got a couple two oh, yards. That was Terrence again, right? 23? It was. Tough in there. They're, they're hanging with it. Second nine. And we're going to have to take a timeout. Time to conference. They're staying with the run, but for still the first quarter. Coaching them up, especially 23. Might be talking to him about the run. Maybe maybe he had a gap, but it would have been better to run through. Um, that's something that, that, you, that you learn. You might have had somewhere to run better than going into the middle, um, but uh, teaching them up. Another junior, Terrence Thomas. Okay. What happened to the sun, Ryan? Oh, it went away. Okay. <laughs> it comes out so infrequently, Peter, that I already forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I attempt to shuffle these papers here with my Virginia. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've got I've got layers. I've got layers on. Second and nine. I smell a pass. Let's see what happens. Well, see, looking, 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 looking. Is it gonna pass it up nice nine. catch. Nice catch and nice run. Nice. Ooh, very good. Brought down by 55 on Bucktel's side. Tanel Edwards. First down. First down. Very nice. Flossie. Excellent. Oh, looks like we have an injury. Number 31 looks like. Jerome Zayad. Oh, yeah. He does look like he's hurt. 
guys will come in and check him out, and I think we're going to take a break. All right, who is that, Ryan? Uh, that is Jerome Zad. Okay, he's kind of hobbling off. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's probably going to be out of this game now. Uh, nice play by Flossie. Had time in the pocket. Which is to Jerome, though. As yes. He sets the rest of this game out. Uh, certainly uh, did his best. First and ten. Bookdale finally has some uh, forward pressure on Bookdale. And off to 32. Keyshawn Stevens. Oh, that's a new name. All right, got a couple. Second set. Nice to see they're, they're changing some of the plays up. I mean, you keep giving it to the same people. <laughs> What's what they're going to do? But always cover those those uh, players. I think it's uh, I think it's our man number 23. He's got the ball. No, you got to give. Yep, you got to give him a rest. Yeah, there's been some predictable plays. Uh, it's nice to see them changing things up. Flossie looking. looking. Pass. 32 again. Nice throw. Sean Stevens taken down at the 46 yard line, Ryan. And it looks like we've got another injury again for Bookdale. Oh, goodness, number 55, 55, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, 55 was uh, Tonell Edwards again. Yeah, he's been putting a lot of the work, a lot of the tackles. And looks like we're going to take another break. Oh, nope, nope. We're, no, no, never mind. Okay, he says I'm up. All right. No breaks to be had. Third down and two. And in a 14 nothing situation, I'm guessing this is two down territory if they don't make it on this play. Well, Ellett went for it the last time and on their own end, so on fourth down, so... I'm guessing they've got two plays called, and I'm guessing probably one of them is running. And off and... Handed off to 23, uh, Terrence Thomas. First down. A fourth and one. Not a first down. Wow. Didn't quite make wow. it. Wow. I don't know. Okay. Well, obviously. Nope. Didn't gonna quite make it. Well, we're going to talk about it because that's the end of the quarter. At the end of the first quarter play, Bookville 14, Ellett 0. Uh, Ellett hopes for a uh, big comeback in the, the following uh, quarters here. But uh, so far, things have not been looking good for them. Again, it's a, it's a young team, and there's a lot of weight on the quarterback's short, shoulders, uh, that being Jake Flossie. Uh, he's got a couple of uh, people he relies on, 23, Terrence Thomas Jr., and number nine, Brandon Doles. And while Buchtel has just been uh, really performing at, at their best today, um, Ellen has, has got a, quite a ways to go. But hopefully if, if they can pull together and start... Uh, Again, changing out the plane is not, not broadcasting, you know, what they're going to do. I think that's a lar large part of it right now. And it, it just seems very predictable. Um, and that's why I say on this fourth and one, I know they're not going to do it. And I think the whole world is saying, I think Ellett's going to run. I would fake a run and throw a pass. But I am guessing. Hey, I, I like that. But I have a feeling Ellett is going to run. <laughs> and I think it's going to be our buddy number 23 there is going to do it. But we'll see. Boy, they got, I mean, it was almost a quarterback sneak. Oh, it was a quarterback sneak. Flossie. And that's a first down. There you go. That's the, that's the easiest way to do it. Quarterback says, you know what? I'm going to do this myself. <laughs> I'll do it myself. So Jake Flossie with a first down. Right. I bet you he doesn't quarterback sneak much. Uh, Good for you, Jake. Well done. And they are into Bookdale territory for the first time, I think. 43-yard line. Let's see if they can get something going here. And they have the spark. Now it's just time to light the flame. Might be back to the run here. Passes off to 
Number 32 again, Keyshawn Stevens. Unfortunately, not much there. Really didn't get much of anything. Yes. Yeah. Here we are at second and ten yeah, now. I'm not gonna give him, not gonna give him anything. Okay. Looked for a moment like there may have been a, a penalty there, but apparently everything's okay. Nice turnout for the game today. Yes, Saturday afternoon. Where would you rather be? Here comes the low. Comes oh, the low. Flossy gets away. Nice well done. Place. He saw the he saw the rush coming. Picks up six. Very Found nice. Found the gap. Ran through it. Third and fourth now. Very nice. And boy, Borkdal, another injury. Fifty-two. Ryan, who is that? Fifty-two is Davian Greenley. And I think we're going to take a break. And we're back. David being escorted off the field. Hopefully he recovers soon. Again, our uh, wishes of uh, quick recovery to Davian and his family. Yeah, they got the injury bug here, Booker. Gosh, that's three of them. I mean, goodness. Here we go, third and four. Roll out. He's got pressure. Good throw. Good Ooh, catch. Three, two. Ooh, nice. Good play, although it looked like it was a little shaky there at first. Keyshawn Stevens looked like he had a little bit of trouble holding on to the ball there at first. They managed to pull it out, though. Nice play by Flossie. For a good play. 28-yard line. <laughs> if it was anything, I'd say Keyshawn's fingers were just so cold. That ball had what? it. <laughs> they wanted to bounce right out. I know what you're complaining about. All right. I, I feel your pain, Keyshawn. 27-yard <laughs> line. Yeah, Keyshawn's making some good catches. And also a very nice play by Flossie. Flossie looking again. Looks like he's got somebody over the middle. Nice oh, throw. Oh, he oh. kept himself open. Mokta, where were you on that play? And you saw that one. You saw him. Oh, was, that was absolutely, he was wide open. Yes, he was. Mokta, what were you doing? Keyshawn again. Good play, but honestly, that came down just to the negligence of the Mokta team on that play because there was no reason why Keyshawn should have been left open the way that he was. First and goal. Orange men, here we go. This is just what they need. Nice drive, some good passes. Yeah, things are looking up for Buchtel. Let's see if they can uh, complete. And off number 23. Oh, oh. Nice. man, uh, 23 had no chance. Uh, Thomas uh, Thomas Jr. was just pile driven. To <laughs> the oh, look at him, he says, all of them are just piled up there. <laughs> Keyshawn, oh. That was uh, that Thomas Jr. Yes. Yeah. I got Keyshawn on the brain. Well, it's 23 and 32. Yeah, that's what I'm just It's toxic. understandable. It's toxic. That's what it is. <laughs> the second goal, Elliot. Might see another one of these. Trying to get everybody in the right, and they look a little confused. Okay. I think we're ready. Looks like we're going to be running the same play. Nope. No. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, Flossy. Oh, get away. Oh, he fumbles the ball. Oh, the ball. Bookle. Can't see the. I think Bookle has the possession. I think Bookle has the possession. We also have a penalty. Oh. We'll see what this is all about. It started off as a, as a nice play, just quickly degenerated into a, a terrible Bookle has the ball. Terrible play there and for Ellis. Let's Ellett. see what the penalty is. And it's against Ellett, and it doesn't matter. They'll decline it. Oh, what pain. Oh. Ellett, you were in position. That that goes down hard. It looks like Flossie maybe obviously was trying to make a play, and the ball just fell right out of his hands. I don't know if he was trying to throw it. Uh, you know, actually, Peter, during the play, it looked like uh, after, uh, you know, Flossie had, had been looking for an opening, and they got spun around there. 
And then it was just kind of desperation. I, I think he was trying to pass it to another player. Yeah, he was trying to pass to a lineman, and that's desperation. And, of course, you can't do that. Uh, but that's probably what really the penalty was, yeah. yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah, nice so drive. We had a very bright future there for Ellett, and unfortunately things are, are pretty bleak right now. Well, it's time, it's time for the defense to keep Bookdell down there. Don't let him get a first down and then Ellick can get good field position. Can't let him have a nice long drive again. But Bookdell's been using the Coyote, been using some very good throws. Jordan Lewis on the snap. Nice to hear his name for a ch without him done something oh. wrong. Nice Another throw! Three, three scouts. First down, Bucknell. Nice play. Nice play for Bucknell, but uh, things are not looking good for Ellett. You got that mobile quarterback. Makes it tough. And you hear the guy say, Book for first down, Griffins. Something Ellett fans do not want to hear. Well, like you said, the, the, the very different play styles for these two teams. Young team on the one side. More, more mature team on the other. You have a very uh, mobile quarterback, like you said. And uh, for Bucto, they're they've been very uh, predictable. So that field, oh, oh beautiful what a throw! Number seven caught that. Uh, Dakota what Taylor, a pass. But what a pass! It was beautiful, beautiful. I mean that you just he just dropped it in. Oh, fantastic! Right in the bucket. Oh, that, that, that's not right. You got a mobile quarterback who can throw like that. What'd you say? He was a senior, is he? He is a senior. Stevie okay. Dyer. Oh, well. Throwing it's all for a quarterback. He's yeah. six two. I mean, you can drop passes like that. That, uh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Put that on the highlight rail. Absolutely. Well covered, too, and still. Nice throw. This is to number 22, Justin Hill. Justin here dropped by 35. Who's 35 for Ella, Ryan? Cameron Hinkle again. Nice play. Nice play. Wow. I'd say, uh, for the most part, Ella's defensive game is better than their offense right now. Yeah, uh, that guy was well covered, and that pass was just perfect. Second and nine. That's 22 again. Finds a bit of a hole, but Ella takes it down between number 10 and 35. Cameron Hinkle and Dave Rehosey. What do I keep hearing? Or Dave Rehosey. I keep sure hearing Hinkle's name, name, Ryan. I mean, my goodness. Playing very well. If you want somebody to stop the book tool, you definitely want a Cameron on your team. Third and three. I was gonna, oh, I was going to say they're going to run the three. Got number three. Oh, number three for the touchdown. Marcel Boyce Jr., excellent catch. Wow. Well done play by Bukto all around. I mean, that was that drive was quarterback city. I mean, beautiful passes, and he ends up with a fantastic pass. Yeah, unfortunately, I tried to cover that. Uh, number three, Marcus Sims. Did the best he could, but it looked like he uh, may have slipped a bit there on the turf and just couldn't seem to, uh, well, they couldn't seem to. He wasn't able to keep Bukhtel from dropping it in the bucket. Yeah, it looked like good coverage until then. All right, Bukhtel once again going for two. Looking to pass the corner, and this time a little overthrown. And it stays 20 to nothing. Yeah, that was that, that quarterback was just wonderful on that series. Great passing. I mean, it was almost all passes. Uh, as everyone retreats to their sides here, Ellen has a lot to think about here coming up in the rest of the game. Well, as you said, their defense is obviously, even if it's 20 to nothing, it's still been better than their offense. Uh, you know, 
no kidding and no points. But uh, they moved the ball the last time. It was yes, just an unfortunate they, fumble. They had a, a series of, of good plays there that they, they executed well. And then, unfortunately, right there at the end, just, you know, mistakes were made. And, and you make mistakes against a good team. It's and, and yes, you it's can't make any mistakes. That's unfortunate. You give them an inch, they take a mile. That's, that, that's so exactly good what happened there. That yeah, you you can't fumble. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say going forward on fourth down was a mistake, but going for it on fourth down in your own territory, I don't know. Maybe I rethink that, but uh, we'll see what they do here. In the second quarter. See if they can get a good return. Start off with good field position. Ooh. Number seven. Number seven taken down. Timothy Peak at the. And there's a penalty, Ryan. Oh, no, it's not a penalty. That's just first down. Oh, blew the whistle. I thought, it was a fla thought I saw a flag. Nope. No, it was a penalty. Okay. And my eyes aren't deceiving me, and it was a hold. And they will bring it back. I thought I saw a penalty flag down. Well, never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. I was just going to say, the nice return, of course, return to the 32-yard line, which is, I think, their thing. But, unfortunately, <laughs> with the hold, we are going to bring it back. The penalty is from where the guy held. And we will be starting at the 23-yard line. Oof. As you say, Ryan, mistakes, mistakes. But in every uh, level, there's a, usually a hold on a kickoff or a punt, unfortunately. All right, let's see what Jake can do here with his boys. Probably going to open it up. Nope, they're sticking it off to thick, with a 23. Very tough run. Terrence Thomas Jr. again. Picked up four. Sticking with that run, Ryan. <laughs> it's hard to say. Run, Ryan, uh, despite the despite the score. Um, what if you were Ellen right now, what would you do? I think I would I think I would open it up a little bit. I think I think I would abandon the run, even though I know you say, Well, you still got another half to go, but it is it is twenty to nothing and you don't want to tire out your defense. And see, they're sticking with it. And unfortunately, that's a loss. And Terrence and, and that will be a loss of a couple of yards, third down and nine. See, you're, you're, you're sticking your offense with third down and long. And every third down and long, obviously, Bookdale knows you're going to throw. And it makes it tough on the offense. And the defense says, well, we'd like to have a rest. But the three and outs make it really tough. So Jake's going to see if he can get his best passing play here. They don't want to give the ball back to Bookdahl. Got to try and pick this one, third and nine up. Jake's looking downfield, and a nice catch. But right, number eight, Isaiah Brown. Unfortunately, unfortunately the fourth down. Right. And they're going to have to kind of too little, too late. So that's tough. We managed to get some positive yards on that, but not enough. Not where we needed to go. Not where they needed to go. Again, mistakes. <laughs> Penalty, holding. And then two running plays. We'll, we'll see if we can get a good punt here. We'd love to kick it and get them on the other side of the field. We'll see what happens. Fourth and seven. High snap. Punts the ball. Looks like a good one. It is a good one. Very good. No fair catch and good coverage. Number nine, Ryan. Who is that for Elliot? Brendan Knowles. Good coverage. Thirty-seven yard line. That's about as about as well as you can do from where they were. So I would say that was a success. But, as you know, Ryan, I can't give up anything before the half. 
The defense got very little rest. Yeah. It's a, it's a upward uh, upward battle here for Ellett for sure. Pukto's sitting comfortably at 20 right now. Nope. Incomplete pass. Overthrown. Trying to get number seven. That's definitely the exception rather than the rule for yes. Stevie Diamond. And got the coyote in the backfield. Hand off to him. Hands off to Wiley. Look at him. Uh, oh, look at him. Look at this run. He's still on his feet. Wow. I mean, oh he my is. Oh, goodness. I, for he's three separate bad. times, I thought he was going down. Uh, he just kept pushing back into him and letting, letting the other players literally keep him on his feet. He should have gotten nothing, and he picks up six. Unbelievable. That's that's so tough for the Ella defense. It's like we had him. I mean, you're 5'8". I mean, it's funny we're calling the Coyote because he's actually much more of the roadrunner. He isn't that you know? funny. But yeah, boy, he is. He's something. Give it to him again. Fake. Oh, fake that time. Nice catch, number seven. And that is going to be. Oh, look at him! Look at him go! Look at him go! <laughs> First down. Faked me out. I thought the Coyote was getting it again, and probably so did some of the Elliot defense. But there's a penalty, Ryan. And guess what? The legal man downfield. Uh, well, it was a nice play. Doesn't count. Well, regardless, definitely want to give props to Dakota Taylor, number seven. Certainly did an excellent job on the play. Yeah. Had not been for the penalty, that would have been yes. uh, just definitely something to uh, put on the highlight reel. Mark that off. Back to the 37-yard line. Third and ten. Lots of time. Lots of time. Number seven's open. Nice catch. Oh, what a to catch. Stud. Marcel Boyce Jr., wonderful catch. He's quarterback zipped that ball and it was a nice catch and it's fourth and one and my guess is that uh, Bookle is not punting. But when you're up 20 to nothing, <laughs> why would you? You got the Wiley in the back field. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see where that ball's at. Uh, yeah, yeah I, would, uh, I wouldn't be <laughs> punting it away either. <laughs> or, or, oh, oh, Ryan, again? Clown. Ryan, is it my imagination, or did this happen before? This did happen before. Oh. Well, we've talked about mistakes against a good team. And Ellett continues to make them. Second time, they've given him a free first down. Yeah. Ellett is just, yeah. You're killing, killing themselves with penalties. They're killing me, Smalls. You're <laughs> killing me. <laughs> killing themselves with penalties. Oh, I thought it was good. I was just gonna, about to say a nice catch, but it wasn't. Not sure exactly what happened there. Yeah, he, he had the ball for a moment, but then it it's as if it repelled itself away from him. The throw might have been a little low, <laughs> but I can't give him a pass on that one. He should've, still should have caught it. Second and 10. Again, I've been saying this, the defense can't give anything up before halftime. Three catches. Nice catch nice again. Catch. Again, Marcel Boyce Jr. on the catch. A little high, and he came went for it. it out of the air. No yeah. problem. Yeah, picked it out. Third down and three. Getting close to halftime here. See if a little pitch to the Coyote. No, 
Nope. Not this time. Looking to throw. Pass into Marshall. Another, another no. great catch and third Dakota feet. Taylor. Down. Dakota Taylor again for the catch. Caught the ball. Both feet down. This, and uh, this section down. of the second quarter has definitely been Dakota and Marcel's game. Uh, whereas the er, er, earlier in the game was all about the Coyote. I know. He's been giving it up between 7 and 3 this whole time, and it's been working well for them. First down at the 31. Steve backs up. Corner of the end zone, and he's got him! And for the touchdown, Demetrius Coates. Wow. Penalty on the play, play. Penalty on the play. Seemingly as if from nowhere. And it looks like it's going to be against Buckdoll. And it is going to be against Buckdoll. Well, that's too bad for Demetrius because he did that a fantastic a job. Nice throw. Nice catch. We didn't get the call, but I'm guessing it was probably holding. I can't say I was focused on it. <laughs> I was watching that ball fly down. Uh, yeah, that zone. was a beautiful pass. I guess that's good. Referees are, get, referees are catching everything that we don't. <laughs> you need a little bit of time for a play like that, and probably somebody grab somebody. First and 23. Give, give the quarterback some time. And, uh, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they ran that same play again. And we're going to have a false start. And Booker is going backwards. Uh, are we talking about book tour? Are we talking about Elliot here? <laughs> Suddenly, it's first and 28. What's your first and 28 uh, call, Ryan? I'm guessing it's probably handing it to the Coyote. At this point, you're going to probably go with the safe play. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. First and 28. I mean, he has been throwing well. No doubt about it. But Elliot is going to be coming after him. And that's where I would swing the wa the coyote loose. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope. That's throwing. Oh, oh a good scramble. Goes right up the middle. Did not expect that. But well done for Stevie. I don't I don't know that anyone saw that coming. Picked up six. Oh yeah, a, a gap straight down the middle and went for it. Look, they're gonna take Took a time advantage. Out. Well, uh, half time looming just around the corner, I, I think Buchtel just wants to make sure they really secure their advantage here before the second half. Yeah, they're looking at obviously uh, inflicting some more pain on Allett, but uh, if nothing else, oh, a little dancing in the in the huddle there with number 52. Uh, no dancing in Allett's side, right? No, no. Right now we're saying, how can we get our offense charged up for the second half? Give the defense a break. I still think they've been playing fairly well despite the score. Oh, I agree. It's it's not really the, the, the fault of the players trying. It's just uh, mistakes. Yeah. Little things. And as a whole, the uh, the team has not found the rhythm, I guess, would be maybe the, the best yep. way of putting it right here. Yep. Bookdale seems like they're just, they've, they've had more time to to iron out the wrinkles, you know, they're, they're much more of a well-oiled machine. Yeah, and that's exactly it. When you're on offense and you get that rhythm and it just you just move down the field and Ellett has not, has done that once. They've had one good drive and unfortunately they fumbled. But they say you always learn more from the screen? A, a bad game than a good one. So I give them another I year. I slip up, he loses the ball! <laughs> And it looks like Ellen has it. And it. Ellen does have it. Well, that, that's sweet. Ellen needed it, and uh, it really worked out for them. I, I would and, love to see a replay of that, though. That was sweet. And we've also got a penalty, Ryan. 
And it's, it's holding, that doesn't matter. Penalty on book though. First though. down, Ellett. That was yeah, that was just an amazing play. And and uh thinking back to what had happened there, uh, you saw twenty two had caught the ball and Ellen had managed just to be able to keep him in place long enough for five to come in there and just plow into him. Made him uh, give up the ball, and then it was a free for all on the field there as it uh, Ellen went to try to recover. So that was just a fantastic play uh, by Ellen. Uh, really, to no, book those no fault of their own. I mean, anyone who got uh, <laughs> plowed into like that, that by Ellen, you know, that, yeah, that thing just forced the ball out of his hands. There was really nothing he could do on that. That so. was a good hit, yeah, uh, wet blight. All right, let's see if Ellen can do something here before halftime. Come on, Jake. Nice oh, nice throw. Oh, nice That's everything. I see the brown. Oh, nice good throw, run. Nice catch. Right at the 30 and yard line. First down. And they're going to take a timeout. Yeah. And let's talk really about this. Yeah, about exactly. It. We got something good going yeah, on, guys. Good. Let's, let's discuss. Exactly. Right before halftime. Jake's had some good throws. That was probably one of the best of the game so yes. far for him. Get something before the half, even if it's, if it's three points. Something to show for a, what's been a good defense for, for Elliott. The so Bookdolls had one turnover. And uh, we had another... Zillow had one turnover, or is that the only one? Lost track of my turnovers. But that one was certainly key. If I, gonna I think it was the first turnover for okay. Ellis' favor, yes. Okay. First down right on the 30-yard line. First and 10. Let's see what Ellis has. Bookdolls still sitting comfortably at 20 to 0. Zealot's opportunity to change that before halftime. Good throw. That's oh, that is intercepted by uh, number five. He Book can go. He can go. Oh, it looks like he's gone all the way to the end zone, baby. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bookdoll. Bookdoll, Ryan, but there's a penalty. There's a penalty. And let's see what it is. It's probably after the interception. I'm guessing the interception probably counts. But the referee is, it's a long run <laughs> to talk about what happened. But a flag flew, but it was after the interception. It's a legal block in the back, and that's after the interception. So Bookto keeps the ball, but there's no touchdown. Wow. That is... So when you intercept and everybody for pulls their back. That's a good thing, but man. Yeah, that's painful, isn't it? Uh, like, oh. Ellett seals the ball. Ellett gives up the ball. And it just Again. Two. So they, really, they don't give it up, but it was just an unfortunate circumstance there that Bookle managed to grab it. Because I thought it was a good throw on Ellett's part. And he just, it, the pieces weren't in place. It was, and it was a nice play by... Number five on Bookdale's end was uh, Zaire Lewis. Yeah, and he was the one nice who caught fly. the ball, inter did the interception, and took it to the other side for the uh, the the once imagined Lewis <laughs> <Houston> Matoni <laughs> touchdown. That's right, <laughs> the, the, the touchdown. Elliott down there again and turning the ball over. Oh goodness! All right, we'll see what. Uh, but they left the touchdown though. So yeah, uh, in, in some small way they lucked out on that. Given the situation, I mean, it's, it could be worse. The Bookdale team gets excited, and then, then it's a push in the back and instead of blocking from the front, and Hands that's what happens. Oh, doesn't hand it to the Coyote. He says, I'm just... Steve he goes for it. Doesn't manage to make much of a dent, though. Yeah, not much. Second about three and yards, and it doesn't matter because it's halftime. Halftime, baby. And here we are. Halftime. Score. Ellen zero, Bookdale 20. And we'll be back after the break. And we're back to action here. The Ellett-Bookdale game here at Bookdale Field. Ellett has repeatedly tried to uh, 
crack the code on how to score in this game, and unfortunately has seemingly fallen flat on each opportunity. They've had a couple of inner uh, turnovers, and unfortunately have not been able to keep the ball long enough to, to bring it into the end zone. Here we are. It's Elliot's uh, kick, and we're going to see what uh, Bookville's going to be able to do with it. Uh, I have such a high lead right now that uh, Elliot's going to have to take every opportunity to bring the, the game back to them and, and turn things over and hopefully be able to score against them. Otherwise, it's going to be a war very one-sided game. But uh, there's still another two quarters to go, so let's see what happens, Peter. Yeah, Book has got to get on the field. I, they were waiting for them to get on. I, I'm not sure they were ready for the second half, but they should be. Up 20 to nothing. Stretch it out. Oh, no, no, that's, bad kick. that's uh, not the way to start the second half. Penalty, offsides. Did Bookdale have an offsides? Bookdale had an offsides. Yes, they did. And now it says, well, let's do, I'll do one too. No, it's not the way to begin the second half. Alex. No, it isn't. We don't need to be giving anything else <laughs> we don't, to Bookdale right we now. We don't need to go backwards on the kickoff. Yeah. Kick it with everything you've got, man. Let's try this again. <laughs> really put that ball no. downfield. Grabs it a good kick. Yeah, it was a good kick. Number three takes it. Marcel Boyce Jr. There's a flag on the ground. That would have been good field position, but I'm guessing that it's not going to be. Yes, holding on the kickoff, which is the case many times. So, Pukta will be backed up. Suddenly it's flag day, Ryan. My goodness, flag <laughs> on the last two plays. Like, well, I, I, the way I look at it, it kind of balances it out. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it is. It's like, okay, I look at one now. Now Bookdale has one. So they're starting on the 30 instead of starting in the 40. Yeah, that was kind of a gimme for, for Ellett, so <laughs> they'll take it. So let's see if it's uh, if we get a lot of Coyote time here in the second half. They haven't used it a lot no. in the second quarter. That's so. why I figured that they might want to try to shorten the second half, give them a lot of runs. Oh, 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 throw it back. He's got him. Number oh. seven. Oh. I don't want to say that's another drop. The other one was a hard. That one looked like it was in the hands. Unfortunate for Bookdale. Again, good for Bookdale. Uh, Elliot. And that was a perfect pass. That was a perfect pass. I, boy, the, the, uh, the hand work there between... Um, Stevie and Wiley. Yes. They get that thing going downfield the way they did. That was uh, was very well done. And that's the way you do it. You got a good runner, and you get everybody up in the line, and then you throw it. Oh, man, oh, snap. Oh, yeah, he fumble. just falls on it. So Bucktool's not starting off, even though they got the lead. Start off with a penalty, and then a drop ball, and then a bad snap. <laughs> So, a so, little, little funky beginning for the Griffins, second 10. The thing is, though, they can afford it. Yes, and they that's, can. That's why. That is yep. the difference here. Yeah, like, if for anybody else right now, that, that would be really bad news. But they are standing firmly with 20 points in their pocket. Ella has absolutely nothing. So, <laughs> they can afford to make mistakes where Ella can't. So, it becomes third and 18. Lots of time. Oh. Lots of time. Open. Nobody, Nobody open. open. And oh. it's going out of bounds. That's a good coverage. Good coverage by Ellen on that one. Yes, it was. Again, their defense game is very strong. It's, it, that, it is. That's where they have it. It's their offense that seems to falter, and that is, unfortunately, <laughs> not a good thing, especially in this game. So I think, is this a first for Rocco <laughs> Hunting? I think this is a fr oh, what, what's the problem? I the know. sun hasn't been out. I, I, yeah, I should have worn two coats today. <laughs> yes. 
I think this is their first punt, if I'm not mistaken. Bartel? Yeah, I'd say I it was. I think so. Because they've gone for it on all the other fourth downs. Yeah, I think you're right. So we'll see how good of a punter we have. And that's pretty good. Oh, nice. He ran up and grabbed it. Like wow. you said. Oh, that's number big eight. stiff arm. Isaiah Brown. That's the way to do it. Don't let that ball bounce. That's right. Grabbed that thing, plucked it out, and then no one was going to stand in his way. So Ellett is starting. I think this is their best starting field position. So let's see if they can take advantage of it. First and ten. Let's see what let's see what Jake has. Forty six yard line. Jake looks like he's running. Let's see. High snap and flag on the ground. False start. I hate to sound like a broken record. Mistakes. 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 Oh, come on. Ellie, do it together. Mistakes. First and 15. First and 15. I don't know what the penalty situation is, but I'm guessing uh, Ella just probably has more. Yeah, it's, it's probably accurate. And it looks like they were throwing. Looks like they're throwing now. Oh, and everybody's moving. Got to stay still. Okay. Roll out. The penalty. The penalty. Yeah. Oh, and over his head. Penalty marker down. And it's a hold. Let's see if Bookdale accepts. They may decline it. They may decline this since it was an incomplete pass. And Bookdale or Ellet is backing up, so they're not going to decline it. Okay. I think I might have declined that one. Make it, make it second down. I mean, it was incomplete. But push it back. Uh, Ryan Ellett is not going the right way. It's first and 30, Ryan. Oh, my goodness. Well, it was my imagination it wasn't Ellett on the other side <laughs> about two minutes ago. Unfortunately, yes. And the thing is here at APSIS, we don't have a favorite. We don't, we're not really no, not at all. For another. It, we just want to see a good game. Yes. And, it, and it's unfortunate when you see a game that just seems uh, so out of balance. Um, and it has been out of balance so early in the game. It has continued that way so far. Little screen. They tried to do it, but it does not get anything. Yep. Did not do much there. I, there's just, I, I will say, it seems like there's been some confusion on the Ella team. Like, like in the middle of the, the play, someone seems to have forgotten what you're doing. They and did look very confused in that last play. You're right. Well, they looked like that on the last play, too. Yeah. The last two plays, they, they, everyone seemed like, like you remember where you're supposed to be. You know, it, it, that's, not, that's not on Jake. You know? No, no, not at all. But it's difficult to play with people who don't seem to know where they're supposed to be at the right time. He was kind of directing them, as a matter of fact. As they know this is where you're supposed to be. Jake's rolling out. Looking, 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 looking. It's a good throw and a good catch. Well, at least we got something. We got something out of it. Not a lot. Out but anything is, is something for them right now. Out to the 34-yard line. 35-yard line almost. Third down. 29. Just trying to get a little more room uh, for the punter. Third and 29. Looking at some sort of maybe, maybe a little pass, a little flare pass. I'm guessing he's probably not going downfield. Yep, that's oh, exactly what I was looking uh, for. Uh, it was overthrown. 32 couldn't get it into his hands. It's a little high for him. Getting kind of deep in the third quarter now. Not much has changed. 
Fourth and 29. You know, Elliott's got to punt this thing as hard as they can. Last punt was very good. Let's see if he can get, he has another one in him. That was the last time they punted. It was flipped the field a little bit. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh, Boboto went up and grabbed it. Oh, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna have good field position. A little they over are. midfield. A little over midfield, yeah. It's best to fit the yard line. And yeah. he did what the other guy did. It just he didn't let that ball bounce. He attacked the wall and which is what you're supposed to do. Right. Bookdell has it on the other on the other side. Ellett's defense says we were just out here. The three and outs. <laughs> Wear that defense down. Well, I said we were gonna see a lot of Wiley. <laughs> And I was wrong. Let's see if we see a lot of Wiley now. Doesn't seem like you've called his name. No, not for a while. Bit. Again, they, they used him a lot in the first yeah. quarter and not since. A lot of fake plays with him. Yes, yes, which is which is obviously Again, what you should they're do. Play, they're really good at playing head games, mm -hmm. or mind games, rather, mm -hmm. with the, uh, the team. Nice gain, number 15. Who is that, Ryan? I haven't seen 15 that. is Armand Gable. Okay, yeah, because that's a new one. Yeah, we it's heard from five. him very early in oh, the first, okay. uh, first quarter. We heard from him, but really nothing since. So, yes, that is the first uh, real good place since the first quarter. So, good for him. Picks up five. I'm looking for Book to keep it on the ground. Of course, they said that before, and then they start throwing. So, how much I know. Wiley's in the back field. Let's see if he gets a little action here. He does look like he bounces off like that. Played very well by number 25, whoever that was. All right. Well done. 20, 25 for Ellen is Cameron, Cameron Guzman. That was a good play by him. Wiley bounced off him and uh, maintained the tackle. Like you should. Didn't let him get away. Bookdell taking their time. I need the clock move. They're oh. doing what they do well defensively. Yeah. Bookdell not in any hurry. No, they don't have to be. Fake to Riley. Yeah. Looking, looking, looking. I think he's going to go for it himself. Finally taken down taken at the uh, forty-two yard line. Yep. Yep. Forty-three yard line. Let's see what they mark it. Fourth and three. Obviously, Bookle says I have. We have no intention of punting. Why would we? Especially where we're here on this side of the field. Good play by Stevie Diamond there. Again, it looked like he was looking for an opening, and when he didn't find it, he just decided, hey, I'll do it myself, and kept going. And that has been the uh, his staple throughout this game, is that Stevie's not afraid to go for it. He, you know, he, he Whether he decides to uh, call it that way, or if in the middle of the, the, the play, he just decides, you know, it's better if I just handle it myself. Um, he oh, good. Oh, intercepted by number nine. Another turnover for Ellett. Brandon Knowles. Beautiful. Wow, that was fantastic. That is that's a, that was a wonderful interception. That was that's really, really hard to intercept when you're that close to the quarterback. Well done. There are three numbers you've got to remember for Ellett right now. Number nine, number twenty three, and number thirty two. And number nine brought it home on that play. That was Yeah, you know, I'm I'm trying to compliment uh, uh, Stevie Diamond. I know, you he jinxed him. I mean, he just he deserves it, but boy he does. I mean, in the middle of that, Ella came out of nowhere and just snatched that ball from the hands of the enemy. What an interception. That was wonderful. Alec, you've you've done some things here so well. Other things not so well. Now you got the ball back again. Let's see if you can do something. Let's go offense. Come on, on guys. On side. Let's see if we can get this offense going, Jake. Go good play. Good play. Good play. Good run. I said 32. First down. I know. I know. First down, baby. 
First down. Yeah, I just want to see it. I want to see some points on the I board. I know. I just want to see some points on the board for Ellett. That's it. That's the number. Like that play. Like that play. It seems like that play should be there for him. Oh, you know, it wasn't anything extravagant. No. Short pass. Very simple. It was, it was quick, and it was to the point, and yep. that's what they need right now. They need short, good plays. Very simple. And don't be doing the long throws. They haven't uh, had a lot of real successful plays like that. Hand off to number, off 20 to number 23. Look at this. Thomas Jr. Look at this nice run. Again, getting the yards that they need. Picked up seven. That's what we're doing. Second and three now. If they can keep this up, I mean, they 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 stand in uh, they'll be in good field position for whatever they want to accomplish. Turnovers and penalties. That's what's been killing them, and they've got none on this this drive. It's true. That's a good point. It's always penalties that are going to knock you down, and, and they have and they've them. had them. They've had them a plenty. Let's see if twenty three gets the ball here. Nope. He's looking, he's, he's looking, looking right in the middle. Decides to take it himself. Pulls a page out of uh, he does. book. He does. He says, I can do this. And <laughs> it is I not quite. Not quite a yard. No. Yeah, but, yeah, about a yard. Third uh, and one. This is where I see number 23. I don't know. I think this no? might be another quarterback sneak. Okay. I mean, Listen, it, Jake did it the last just, time. Yeah, third and one. I mean, what, you know, let's just get that first down, right? Jake did it the last time. And he's not in the quarterback sneak mode. No, you're right. So you're right. He's pass off. We're handing yeah. off. Oh, he's and he oh, he still has it. No. Oh, well, well, obviously we're going to everybody at him. <laughs> yes. See, I said number thirty-two. And number 23, and uh, I don't know, I think maybe you were, you had the right idea there. So here we go. I mean, if I'm out at this point, you know what, screw it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. I'm not going to punt. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, we're 20 to nothing, yeah. Yeah. We're going mean, to take a timeout. Get the right play. <laughs> Get the right play. All we need is that first down. We can keep yes. going. So, yeah, I would go for it. I don't, I don't care that we're at fourth down. You know, it, all it's gonna it, it, honestly, if Bookfield uh, scores at this point, you know, what, all it's gonna be is they scored more on us. Yeah, so we, we need to do everything we possibly can to get points on the board. And I think we are in the third quarter. We are deep in the third quarter now. Oh yes. We don't have the time to be playing around. We have to get points on the board. And I have a feeling that's with that head in the mouth of the coach there in the middle is waving. He's, he's he's trying to get the boys together. Everybody on the same page. Everybody on the same page. Make sure we get the right play. No penalties. And no penalties. Please, let's not have any false starts. Jake's getting them all lined up, ready to go. Is it going to be a quarterback sneak? I don't think he's going to call that. No. Okay. I think they're probably going to actually be a little bit more ambitious. I mean, if I'm Bucknell, obviously I'm looking for a run. And he's in the quarterback sneak mode. That's a quarterback sneak, Ryan. It's and he's, he's got it. He got it. He's he's got got it. it. A push. The offense is yeah. flying <laughs> with a nice yeah. push. Oh, those boys. Man. down. <laughs> those boys up in front don't get enough credit. And... You only hear their names. Don't push those and that was boys back. Wonderful, yes. <laughs> and when you do a quarterback sneak, that's what you need. Oh, well, good for the First down for Ellen. All right. Now they have a chance. They have a chance. It's back in their hands. Good offensive line play. They can just keep moving that ball down the field. I think they're going to go with a, a run, though, on this now. They're going to try to, again, try to move that ball down the field. Yep, looking to throw. Good, oh, good, good catch. catch. Number eight. Who's number eight? Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown. I've, is it, that uh, guy, we've heard his name, Have we heard his name? Yep, okay. I said 9, 23, and 32, but I, I, uh. did, <laughs> I did forget to mention number eight, Isaiah Brown. He's been Picks one of our seven. boys. Picks up seven. And seven, Timothy Peak. Little short passes, little short passes. Not throwing it all the way downfield. Little short passes. They're working. 
They're working. Well, if you cut out the penalties, I mean, you, you'll be surprised about everything you can do. Jake's <laughs> looking, looking for an opening. Looking and... Oh, he's going away, he's going away. away. Oh, oh nice caught by... Nice catch. 23? Yes. Yes, 23. <laughs> <Tits>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice catch. Well done. I, I honestly thought that Jake was going to throw it away. Down. Yeah. Either take it down or throw it away. And and the last he, time that it happened to Jake was when he was in the end zone, and that was when he got desperate, yep. made a bad play, lost the ball, turned it over, and that, that spelled doom for them the rest of the game so far. And that, what you know, where he was in almost in the same position, not at the end zone, yep. but he did the right thing, threw to to a, a, a teammate, Honestly, it was kind of on a, a wing of a play. Uh, yeah, because I think I thought he was just going to just throw it out of bounds. A little bit of a hail mary he pass, not. But, he, but he got it. Rolling out, rolling yeah, out, looking, 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 looking. He's got to throw. Jake. Nice play. Wow. Nice play. We got an injury. We got an injury. Classic case of I don't know what I'm going to do until I'm about to do it. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Oh, number 54 is injured. Dylan Peer, and it will be taking a break. 54 is being escorted off the field. Hope he recovers quickly. 14 yard line again. A fantastic play by Jake. Nothing open. Nothing open. Scramble. Scrambles. Gets the first down. Deep in the third quarter, definitely need it. They are so close to the end zone now. I'd love to see them put some points on the board. And this has been all passing. Let's see if it continues. Passes to number nice seven. Nice catch, and he Three is... Weeks. Out of bounds. Right before the end zone. Right before the end zone. They can breathe hard and hit the end zone. Because they're marking that at the one, two yard line. Uh, and there's a penalty. Oh. And we'll see what this is about. But even at that distance, I, I they got to be able to deliver this. Maybe it's either right, Peter? they got to be able yeah. to deliver this. They have to be able to put the ball in the end zone this time. Let's see what the no penalty more teasing. is about. No more teasing me, right? Unsportsmanlike against Bookdoll. I mean, you can't move the ball any closer than it already is, so that penalty will move the ball from the <laughs> river they were to the one. It was at the two. <laughs> you move it one yard because that's all you can do. Well, well, Ellie, you got a little extra help on that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you, yeah, your, your unsportsmanlike penalty uh, was at one yard instead of what it usually is, which is 15. What do you think? What do you think? Quarterback sneak? Quarterback sneak? Looks like it. Jake's pushing, pushing, pushing. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Allen. Woo. <laughs> and quarterback sneak, Jake. Jake uh, did it all. I mean, obviously with some fantastic catches, but some great throws by him and a couple of quarterback sneaks. And now we're going to go for two. There were some good plays in that. That. A miracle play on the one. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. It's like, one. oh, somebody's, I don't know, let me just throw it to the you. Fact, yeah, the fact that they were able to recover quicker. that. Yes. <laughs> that really <laughs> was like, <laughs> it's like, good play. That's it, it's, it's a yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, and yeah, right the in the hands. Man. Here we are, going for the two. Try to make it 20 to 8. Looking at the corner. Oh, 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 the oh, hands. Man. Maybe a little bit too much mustard on yeah, that I one. I think so. That, okay. that looked a little too powerful. I, I, I think that's exactly what it was. We I mean, were that close. I didn't think we needed to really charge it that way. Ellett is on the scoreboard. Might be with I think just got Jake a little, little too much. It's a classic case of getting overly excited. We're finally there. Yes. Putting some points on the board. And he just, he just chucked the thing when, you know, it really was a case of, a call for more gentle hands. He's got a strong arm. He's got a strong arm. Sometimes it's hard to lasso that. Right. We've seen him have yeah, a bad face. Not yeah. a thing, but. So what are we thinking, Ellen? Onside kick? Probably too early for still in the third quarter. Oh, we, don't want to give, we don't want to give Booker the ball a good field position. 
But at least, not, and the defense got a rest. Defense finally got a nice rest of that drive. Very little time left here in the third quarter now, so that some hard decisions are going to have to be made. Because I'm guessing Bookdo gets that ball, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of running. See if we can get good coverage on this kickoff. Number 32 on the kick, Jair Pearson. Very, very, very short. I agree. Summer 7 picks it up. Oh, he bounces oh, the ball. Oh, oh, oh. And there's a penalty. And the ball continues to roll. And who has it? I we don't know. Booker had it, but then it oh, tried to roll. Booker got it back. Got it back. That's unfortunate. Oh. It's a solid hit. Though. Oh. Did you see who hit him on that, Peter? I think that was Keyshawn Stevens, the kicker. The kicker making a tackle and causing the fumble. That never happens at any level much less in high school. That was fantastic. The penalty, there was a penalty on the field. And... I mean, that ball was just like a banana right out of the, the I mean, that was a fantastic hit. Bam! <laughs> that was a fantastic hit. <laughs> well, soap, I mean, just... Yes! Just, <laughs> there was no hit like that. No way of holding on to that. Maybe there wasn't a penalty, because that's where the ball was. So maybe it just fell out of somebody's pocket, because... Well, it was a good catch by number seven to bring it down field. Uh, for Bucknell, that was uh, Dakota Taylor. But number 32, Keyshawn Stevens. Good oh, on the hit. An opportunity. And the fumble. Opportunity for Ellett. Just couldn't get it. Pass to the county. That's what I was looking at. Look oh, at the Coyote lose. Oh, oh, God, the oh, Coyote oh, lose. Oh, oh, coyote gosh. Lose. The Coyote lose. <laughs> wow. What a run. He's been so well rested. I think the first run, and I can't wow. go all the way. I can't we keep going with Coyote, but beep, beep, that guy was the road runner. <laughs> he says, finally, gave me the ball. Look what I can do. Oh, my goodness. Every time Ella thought they had him, he just, oh, I'm just going to sidestep over here and get around you. Don't worry about me. That was wonderful. Wow. Bad snap. I picked up the ball. Tried to get something out of it. Stevie Diamond gets taken down at the 14 yard line. The center did not help him at all on that one. That was, there's been a couple of bad snaps. Uh, and he just has to do what he can. He picked up a yard. He's probably happy he got the yard. Yeah, that situation where he yeah. had a bad snap, like you said. Quarterback doesn't like getting that ball to the side. And he has to make a play now, obviously. It helps if you have a running quarterback. Little handoff, 26. Touchdown, Russell. Right in for the touchdown, Deontay Fortson. It First time we've heard that name all game. Say. But he had his moment. Giving everybody a rest, Ryan, it doesn't count. Deontay Fortson Penalty. for the touchdown. Oh, and it doesn't count. Never mind. Penalty. I'm guessing it's against Burkdoll, and I'm guessing it's probably a hold. I'm sorry, Deontay. And, yeah, you can, you can you see do. the referee kind of doing that. It's almost like you show him, this is what you did. That's not the official holding penalty signal, but <laughs> we got it. You deserved better. So instead of a touchdown, it's second and 18. Well, as long as we're talking about him, Deontay Fortson is a senior. No, I'm sorry, a sophomore at Bookdoll. He is also a, uh, one of the smaller players of the team at 5'8", coming in the same height as uh, the, <laughs> the Coyote. All right, maybe you'll get another play on his part if yeah. not for the penalty. Bobbled out a little bit. Nice throw over the middle. Oh, no! 38, 35. Who's 35, Ryan? 35 is Cameron Hinkle again. Oh, oh, well, of course it is. I should have known. In his hands, he says, oh. He says, I'm a linebacker. 
I'm not supposed to be catching balls, but that one, oh. That's another opportunity Ellen had to turn this game. A little unsportsmanlike conduct there on, on Buchtel's case there, right after uh, Cameron wasn't able to secure the ball. Uh, or actually, as he was trying to secure the ball, Buchtel pushed him. Uh, looks like the referees decided to look the other way on that one. I don't know why. Could have been called. Could have been called. I agree. Looking, looking, looking. I think. He, oh, I was going to say he's going to go to the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, are you serious? What a catch! Oh my gosh! Who made that catch, Ryan? As he's not very really happy. Number three, Marcel Boyce. We've heard this before. Corner of the end zone. What a throw and what a catch! Wow. I honestly didn't think that he got that. I was like, oh, he's out of the end zone already. I thought he was out of bounds. No. Immediately, he still had a, a small, square patch of grass to land on with the ball in his hands. Kept himself in bounds. Oh, my goodness. What a play. What a play. Buckle again going for two. By the way, everybody, yes, you can kick the extra point. But <laughs> maybe the Buckle's extra point kicker is not very good, or they just prefer going for two. It's nope. a trend. Peter, you don't give up ever. No, no. You're really 26. You go for every no, extra No, I know. You can. And, they're, and they're, oh, just a little low. A little low. 26 to 6. They can afford it. <laughs> yes, they can. A couple of great plays there. The Coyote with a, with a wild run. Dare I say, a wild run. And then a great pass and a great catch. Well, the fourth quarter is looming here. I'd say that uh, the handwriting's on the wall for Ellen, unfortunately. There's, I, I don't think there's any, any way they're going to be able to pull themselves out of the pit they're in uh, in order to be able to have any chance of winning this game now. Yeah, Ellen's got to get the ball back, get a nice drive. they got to finish the game very confidently going into their next game next week. They're playing a team that... Uh, we will probably see down the road, possibly in the state playoffs. So this is a, a tough task for them. And they've got to finish it strong, make themselves feel good going into the next game. Young team, as you said. Uh, this is good experience for good nothing experience, else. Exactly. Yep. They're going to learn a lot from yes. this game. Yeah, we always play a team that uh, on, on the field is much ta more talented, more experienced than you. Gives you good experience. So let's see if they can get a good return here. Oh, that was a good kick. It's a very good kick. Oh my gosh. Oh, back with five the yard line. Back. Wow. And a good oh, return. Oh, oh yeah. out of that, that one hold, but face to face tackle there. That was number eight again. Isaiah Brown. That was a good return. Don't expect anything less from him. Picked it up at the five yard line and returned it to the 20. Are they marking it to the 28? Yeah, that's a good return. But now you're right. That was a very good kick. Gosh, I mean, <laughs> down to the five. That's not where you want to be as, as Ellett. No, you don't see too many of the high school kickers kicking it into the end zone, and that one almost was. All right, let's see if Jake can give march down the field here. Get something. High snap. Gets it to Terrence, number 23. Not able to accomplish a whole lot, got unfortunately. Buchtel's defense kept it closed out, second and nine. Buchtel continues to play a very, very good game from start to finish, you know, outside of a few penalties, and let's let's not forget the penalty that should have been called. Yeah, yeah, they, the yeah, that one, that I mean, that, that could have affected that entire other touchdown. You're right. And that you're is right. really why that was such a bad call on the referees for not saying anything. Could have been a uh, penalty against them, and said it was just an incomplete pass. So Allett didn't get anything on that. They didn't get the interception, and they didn't get the penalty. Second down. Jake, for Jake Rank for his life. Oh, oh, he's wrong. Oh, very hard hit, but a good pass. Taken down at the 41-yard line. And we've got an injury. Who was 39-yard line? 
40. Uh, 40, 39. <laughs> yeah, I think they moved it up. I think it was 39. I think you were right the first place. I think we have a timeout here. Probably going to take a break for an injury. Another Bookdale injury. Number 28 is your Fortson. Oh. Uh, I can only assume that DeJour Fortson and Deontay Fortson are siblings. Well, looking at the roster here, it looks like DeJour is a senior. And Deontay is a sophomore, so it looks like DeJour is the uh, older brother. And that was the last play. Get ready for the fourth quarter here. We'll be back. The changing of the quarters did nothing to warm me up, Peter. Uh, I know. We, the little sunshine has not peeked his little face out lately. And, uh, yeah, that might have been it for you. So put on another layer. All right, let's see what Jake has here. Maybe mount a nice drive and uh, give the team some more points. Looking, looking, looking. That looks like a nice throw. Oh, and he made the tackle. Keyshawn Stevens stole the street. Oh, and taken down at the 42-yard line. Wonderful throw and even a better run after the catch. Well put together play. Got them down the field right where they need to go. Little by little. You know, maybe they can put some more score uh, points on the board. Again, it's not really probably going to amount to being enough by the end of this thing, but uh, it would be nice again mm -hmm. just to just to balance the scales a little bit more for Elliot. And uh, you know, every play that they they get and every point they put on the board uh, is a sign of them you know, getting better and, and uh, being more cohesive as a team. And somebody for Bookroll has to go off the field. Um, you know, might might have been something with the equipment, something like that. Sometimes they'll do that. Fifty-five was called in. That was Tanel Edwards, and he was replaced by Dre Copeland, number fifty-nine. Might have something that had needed to be adjusted. Twenty-three has the ball. Yeah, we know who that is. Tackled down. Mm, got a got a yard. Terrence gets one yard. Second and nine now. I'm guessing we're going to see fewer, fewer of those. Number three for Ella just came back into the game. Marcus Sims. We've actually had an opportunity to work with Marcus Sims on multiple occasions uh, for the Monday Meaningful Message. Oh, very nice. So if you want to check out more about what he thinks and his thoughts on life, check out uh, the Akron School's OH Instagram page. Yep, blue bobble, but it caught on and then oh, lost. Fumble, fumble. Fumble, number 13, Bookdale. Marcus Turner. But 54 is not going to let go. 54 for <laughs> brought him down. That was Fabian Mathis again. I'm guessing, the obviously, he had the ball long enough. So that they did not call that an incomplete pass. That was a fumble. And Elliott trying to move the ball down the field. Fortunately coughs it up. And once again, things are looking bad for Elliott and much brighter for, for Bucknell. It's been kind of the story of this game. Yeah, interceptions, fumbles, and of course penalties. They had a nice drive going here. The referees aren't having much better luck catching the ball either. <laughs> <laughs> the referee says, referees, if our hands are cold, and look at him. He's, he's got short, short sleeves on, and hands got to be cold, even if they're running around. Oh, uh, yes, I mean, that, that is part of it. I mean, you're yeah. just out there, and you, you're you're down on the field. I mean, you're, your hands just start to be coming to feel like, like yeah. ice. And then you have this, you have this projectile just <laughs> launched exactly. into your hand. Exactly. It's hard to get a good grip. Give it to the Coyote again. A little Coyote magic penalty marker down. Ryan, I bet you know what that's going to be. Uh, definite holding. <sighs> a little Coyote magic, unfortunately. You are correct. So it'll set him back. Coyote with a nice little run there. 
but we've been saying that a lot about him. He's had a, a couple of nice big runs. So Bucto will be pushed back. Let the Coyote v first and 21. The Coyote says, it's the last, not the last you've seen of me. As he's in the backfield. There first he goes. 21 passes to Coyote again. Manages to get his side swipey. Oh, gets taken down at the... Uh, and Ryan, guess what? Another penalty on the ground. <laughs> I don't even know why I started commenting on that whole play. <laughs> and that was another nice run. See how he runs and he stops. And he makes his stop and then he changes direction. And that, so, that is the beauty of, of his running. So You're absolutely right. Because Ellen it makes these charges at him. There, Ellen is... You have a lot of big boys there on the L L team ready to take uh, you know, a little 21 down, but the fact is that 21 is so fast, and you see L just not be able to keep up and, and, and stay stay aware of what changes he's going to make on the field. So, yeah, he, he manages to snap out of all those uh, potential tackles. He got good moves. I think the referee is having a problem with one of the Bucto players and telling him if he doesn't probably shut up, he's going to get you're going to get another penalty. I'm sure that's what it is player went off the field, and that's probably the last time he'll see the field. And the referee's saying, warning, it's, probably, it's, a, it's a it's a warning to keep your mouth shut. First and 25 down for Buchtel. So while Buchtel managed to, to you know steal that ball and and make uh, just a great play out of it. Unfortunately, with the, metal, uh, with the penalties that they've had, they have uh, squandered a lot of the opportunity they, they had with that. And after you know who, <laughs> oh, this time they corralled him. Taken down quite quickly. Second and 27. I think maybe Ellett knew what we knew. <laughs> and said, no, no, no. Not this time. <laughs> Not this time. You've been running ragged on us. No. The benefit of being smaller like that, you're very, usually very fast. Yes. Downside to that is when you have th three, <laughs> you know, 250-pound guys jumping on you, it kind of takes the wind out of your sails. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Second 27. Let's see if we see something through the air. Or are they going to keep it on the ground? I think they're going to go through the air. And you're correct. Over the oh, oh, number seven. Oh, missed opportunity. Oh. Missed opportunity. Timothy's got to be feeling pretty awful about that right oh. now. I had my hands on it. Yes, I'm well, Keyshawn Stevens knows how they feel. Third in a whole bunch. <laughs> Third whole bunch. <laughs> so, <laughs> Are we still counting? <laughs> well, when we're winning and it's third and a whole bunch, we can, I, I say you keep it on the ground. Of course, that's what I said the last play, and you were correct. Yeah. So we'll see if they. <laughs> anytime you watch any sort of uh, you know complaint or criticism against most holders, like, have you seen the score? I know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're winning. Okay. And, oh, oh, he takes everybody he's out. He's got oh. him. Oh! oh! No, there's no penalty oh. on that. He dropped it. You dropped it? I, it went through the hands or you dropped it. I'm not sure which, but no, you're not getting a penalty, especially when it's 26-6. to six. But I don't think there was a penalty to be had on that play anyway. And Brooktel's going to do something they have not done much. Nice throw, obviously. I mean, that was right on. And I think it went right through his hands. Again, again throwing when it's 26 to 6. I have views about that, but I'm not saying anything because I will get shot down. So we'll just move on and Booker was punting.
Trying for the block. Very good punt. Oh my Very goodness. good punt. And they get a nice Buchtel bounce. A little bit. Very good punt. Rolls dead at the 30 and a half <laughs> or so. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll move it up to the 31. All right, Jake. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get a get a drive here. Once again, really can't be stressed enough, though, that the majority of Ella's team are freshmen and juniors. Yes. They have a, a yes. smattering of sophomores and very, very few seniors. Yes. So they are going up against a just kind of objectively a better team, mm -hmm. a more seasoned team. And, uh, you know, again, they're going to learn a lot from this, but uh, it is they're definitely not comparable in the amount of experience that they have. Oh, off. Off to 23 again. Oh, he kind of flopped and bounced his way around and picked up about four. The one thing Buchtel has to, has to do, they can do this against Ellet, but they can't do it against better teams, and if they should make it to the state, is they've got to clean up those penalties. Got to clean up. We can't have unsportsmanlike conduct. We can't have some of the penalties that we've seen from them. When they go against better teams and out-of-conference teams especially, by the end of the season, hopefully they'll have cleaned that up once the season, and going against East. Nice catch, nice throw. Fights his way. First down. 32, Keyshawn Stevens. Expect nothing less. Keyshawn, a very popular name. Uh, Keyshawn Johnson was a very good wide receiver in the 90s. And uh, I'm sure that that's not a coincidence that some of the players are named Keyshawn. Especially when you're football players and you have a son. and He's a good wide receiver. <laughs> Keyshawn's now on, the, on television as a guy talking about, a talking head. As many of them are. Jake passes to... Uh, Keyshawn again, forced out of bounds. <laughs> forced out of bounds, but a nice play. Absolutely. Th these, little, these little simple plays. How many times have we seen Ellett with these little, little 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 drop passes and they pick up yards? You know, that's the best thing they can yeah. do right now. Ellett is, is, or I'm sorry, Booktol is very good at keeping them from the long game, the long passes, long throws. They, they either intercept or... Um, it gets bobbled a little bit, and it, it doesn't seem to work out for them. Ellett's uh, is definitely better with the short game, so they yes. they should really stick to these short plays and, and see how they can push the the ball down down the field. Now, one of those long passes, he's got him. Oh, oh, oh! oh, 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 oh Ryan, who is, who is that? Isaiah Brown. Isaiah, you uh, had it, you didn't have it, you oh, had it. It <laughs> was a beautiful play, <laughs> too. Catch it. And oh. I was just talking about oh, I know <laughs> you were. <laughs> I know. Oh. Their heart is in the right place. It is. But their hands are not. They're not. <laughs> We talked about this. Long passes. Oh, no, that one. Oh, my goodness. That I was thought, heartbreaking. I thought that, was, that was a shot. Oh, it was <laughs> <laughs> so choice. Uh, all right, third and two. Can we get it the simple way and just hand off to 23? Doesn't look like it, does it? No. Quick pass. Nice catch. 32. 32. There he is. There he is again. Buckles on him like bees. <laughs> they <laughs> were. Swarmed him. And they tried to give so him. They had good coverage because there was nowhere nowhere for Keyshawn to go. And they tried to hit him rather than tackling him. And you see he hit him. Well, he's not going down. <laughs> not uh, Keyshawn. No. <laughs> you got to know you got to wrap up on him. Very little time left here in this fourth quarter. Keyshawn kind of had a little, after that play, he says, ah, I need a little breath. Put my helmet back on. Probably just took a good shot. Just enough time for Ella to possibly get another score in here before the end. But, and that uh, would be nice. Yeah, it, it's it, things are winding down here. That would be nice. Buchtel.
Jake looking. Throws. And oh, did he catch it? Oh, oh my gosh. goodness gracious. Keyshawn. Wow. I okay. mean, I, mean come I, th on. I think we can just say that Keyshawn come on is now. the uh, APS player of the <laughs> he game. Says, he says, listen, for, uh, you know I'm doing well if I'm the player of the game and I'm, and he, I'm not winning. He came out of nowhere. I he know. I thought it was out. I thought it was down. Oh. Jake, Jake threw it. And I don't know what Jake was throwing to. Exactly. I don't know. If he, maybe he didn't know. He's like, oh, Keyshawn there he is. No, I got this. Yeah. I'm guessing that that wasn't a very good pass, but made up for by a very good receiver. Yes. Did not lose any yards. It didn't gain any, but it didn't lose any. He would have lost a lot if he'd been taking the sack. Second and ten. Nice catch. Little hit out of bounds. Number seven, if we had to. Oh, of course. That's Timothy Peak. Oh, of course. Yes, the man just said it as well. Third down, we got two plays, obviously, to pick up the first down. Yeah, with as little time as we have left, I mean, yeah. at this point, We've got to I stop. think every play I would just be trying to hit the end zone. Yeah. I would like to go out of this game with at least double digits. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, so that if, if I'm the LA coach, and I think we are going to have a measurement. See how close this is to a first down. Bring out the chains, boys. Everybody gets out of the way so we can see from our viewpoint. Sunshine, nah. I guess that was it. I guess that was it for this Saturday. <laughs> Late September. Well, I know that this game is going to be over soon, and I'm going to be able to warm up. Yes, so. you will. Yes. And Everybody I will. Uh, I don't. I like a good game, and, and this game has got a lot of surprises to it. But uh, unfortunately, it's been a little unbalanced the whole time. Stretch I'm it out, baby. Stretch it out. I'm looking forward to. Getting out of here. Uh, oh. That much. Wow. <laughs> that's not even one. <laughs> that's, that sounds like, that's, it looks like quarterback sneak, doesn't it? Fraction of a yard. Yes. Come on, Jake. Just, just grab just a quick snap and off you go. I mean, just run up to the line of scrimmage. Hut, and go. <laughs> I mean, just my first sound, everybody goes. I mean, that's that's what it seems like it should be. Well, let's see what he does. Nope, that's not what he's doing. <laughs> okay, wrong again, Peter. Wrong again. Yeah, just get used to it, don't you? I know. It's like, okay, well, good guess. He's rolling out on a third and one. Wow. He better get rid of it. Wow. He better throw it away, and he did. No! Jake, why? Uh, I questioned the play call. I questioned the play why, call. Why, Jake? It's third and one. We have another injury. Well, I did, I did say, who is that, number three for Buchtel? Marcel Boyce. Well, <coughs> uh, I hope he's all right. Or is it number four? Uh, he's l here. He's coming out as we're back. It's no, it's number three. three. You're right. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't find it funny. I don't. But, you know, Elliot, you might want to have done that earlier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know. It's, it's exactly. It's like, oh, I mean, he was, yeah, he, he yeah, was out trying to get his eye. But, yes, Marcel Boyce, if he was going to go out, you would have wished that he would have been out of the game earlier. Hopefully he'll be okay. I question the play call, third and one. Why are you so uh, I, I said that if I was the other coach, I would be working on Now, here, now we're going to do it. Okay. And but I don't I, think he didn't make it. He didn't no. make it. 
No. Well, I think that's, that's what you do on third down, not on fourth down. Yeah. Because yeah. on fourth down, we all know you're doing it. Yep. Brian knew it. I knew it. Everybody knew it. That's the end of the game right there. That's what you do on third down. Not really, but not, yeah. it's the end of the game. Not what you do on fourth down. Because they had everybody, including almost the coach, out there to stop that. So let's see here with a little bit left. You know, it's if uh, if the coyote is still in the game, which I'm guessing he probably you know he is. Is he? No, he's not. I was gonna say I didn't think he's good. He's still in the game. He, 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 we're, we're done with coyote. The coyote action. We got people that you've never mentioned, which is as it should be, including the quarterback. Oh, it's uh, Deontay, number 26. His brother DeJour was oh, one okay. of the ones who very nice. Get a little bit of playing time here at the end of the game. He was the one who had the, the, <laughs> the touchdown that was taken away. Oh, he says, okay. That was very exciting, even if it didn't count. <laughs> I'm still calling it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, oh. I'll go on touchdown, darn it. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't make the block in the back. I'm letting this clock run down. Nobody's in a hurry. Let this play out. Probably do it again. Why not? Yep. Thought that was a football. Oh. No, it was a helmet. <laughs> thankfully, his head yeah, wasn't still on. Yeah, it. thankfully he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. It's all bundled up. Has to go out for a play. When you lose your helmet, you have to go out for one play. This is a. D I, I guess Ryan, you would call this a teaching moment. This game. This is a teaching moment for Ellis. A lot of young players, and I say, okay, coach will go back and say, here's all the things you did wrong, here's all the things you did right. Get better in the next game. You've gone against one of the tougher teams in the City Series. Cut out the mistakes. Number 22, Justin Hill. We've only heard from him a couple of times here during the game. Second and six now. Again, this is really just a matter of running out the clock, of which there's very little left here at this point. 22's going off injured. You don't want injuries right here. The game's almost over. That's the last thing they need. Won't well, impact the game much, but you're right. It's, that's certainly not how you want to go out of this. No, uh-uh. You don't want anybody to get hurt when we're basically just running the clock out. Deontay again. Yeah, we're getting a little, a nice dose of Deontay. He's getting to show what he can do. Third and four. Didn't have to look too far to the sideline to see what the play is. This will be the last play. Going once again to Deontay. And take it down there at the fourth and three. And, and that that's it. Just about wrap it up. Yes. Uh, End of the game. Final score. Bucktail 26, Ellet 6. Victory to Bucktail on their inaugural game on this brand new field provided by the uh, Cleveland Browns Foundation. So thank you for that. And uh, it was a beautiful looking game, if not a very balanced game. Yeah, we know Ellet, uh, we talked about to death. 
made mistakes, and Bookdoll obviously on the field a better team, but uh, it'll get better. It'll get better, and by the end of the season, uh, they'll be better. It's a good experience for them. Well, what we have coming up, uh, uh, this game we recorded today is happening actually at the same time that our game for uh, uh, Firestorm versus Garfield is occurring. So uh, Peter and I will be commentating on that game uh, remotely. And uh, we will see you again back here for that uh, in next week. We just want to thank everyone who makes this possible. For the executive producer, Mark Williamson. For the cameraman extraordinaire, Peter George and myself. We thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs>